And tonight we're learning more about the lives of two Lamar University students that were cut short by a suspected drunk driver just over the weekend. Now, family members say the victims, Clyde Thompson and Tanisha Smith, were close friends, both of them only 19 years old. Now, not only were they close friends, but the two attended Lamar University together. And Clyde's twin sister lived with Tanisha at their dorms. And that's where we find our 12 News reporter, Dominique Lay, who has reaction tonight. Dom? Leticia, I'm at Morris Hall at Lamar University where both Clyde Thompson and Tanisha Smith lived. They were on their way back from a late night Whataburger run, but they never made it back. A mother's nightmare. Sunday, Clyde Thompson and his fellow classmate were driving back to Lamar University after a late night food run when the unthinkable happened. Police say their car was struck head on by a wrong way driver and they believe alcohol was a factor in the crash. He was robbed the first time and this time he was completely robbed. 19 bright future, he knew what he wanted. Tamala Johnson is Clyde's mom. She says Clyde was a sophomore at Lamar studying kinesiology. He wanted to be a spokesperson to young kids of his age that are going through therapy who are stuck in ICU and don't see a way. Just to go and talk to him and say. In a tragic twist, this is the second time Clyde was hit. In May 2019, as he was jogging home from playing basketball, a drunk driver struck his body. He had a lengthy recovery in the hospital, but he survived. For this to happen, it's just unreal, you know, to get killed by the very thing you survived. It, it hurts. The passenger in Clyde's car was 19-year-old Tanisha Lachey Smith. She was a sophomore nursing student. The two were close friends and shared another connection. Tanisha was the roommate of Clyde's twin sister. And it, it's so hard for her because not only did she lose her brother, but she lost her best friend. The Smith family didn't want to speak on camera, but they want Tanisha to be remembered as an intelligent, kind, and protective sister who loved her family. The driver, who the, the driver who police say struck the two remains in the hospital. And police have released that person's name, but since they haven't been charged, we won't be releasing it. Both families have funeral arrangements underway, and Clyde Thompson has a, has a GoFundMe account set up. In Beaumont, Dominique Lay, 12 News.